Hi, I'm Levi. I'm a passionate adventurer whose mission is to find the most unique one night stays across America. Come along as we find innovative, awesome tiny houses, just like this one. This is Tiny B&B. Let's go explore. Have you ever seen a grain silo be converted into a livable home? Well, today you have. Let's go take a tour of this place. We are in Chickamauga, Georgia, I believe I'm saying that correctly, which is really close to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and home of the nation's oldest military park. I think it's a national park. So, really cool area, and today we're going to be touring this 850 square foot grain silo that's been converted into an Airbnb. This is the best one I have seen online. This grain silo is 27 foot in diameter, and there are two levels to it. The grain silo was actually in Illinois, got dismantled and drove down here, and then they rebuilt it. So pretty extensive process if you ask me, but that's what you gotta do, I guess. You'll drive up on this beautiful private property. The owner's home is way in the front, and then you're way in the back, surrounded by these beautiful fields. I mean, I cannot get over how beautiful this landscape is. Right in front of you are some horses, and you can come out here and look at them. I love horses, so it's really fun to watch them and talk to them. You walk up your walkway. You have this really neat front patio right here with a day bed and some chairs right here. You can sit out here and drink some coffee and look at the beautiful uh, rolling hills and meadow. Gorgeous. You might be wondering how they frame it and everything. Well, I was told that there's two grain silos, actually. You have the outer one, and then you have your spray foam insulation. The entire thing is spray foam insulation, which is crazy, I think. Lots of insulation. And then you got your plumbing, electrical, and everything. And there's a smaller silo inside of it. So there's one on the inside. You got your internal layers and the outside one. So that creates the wall, which is pretty neat. I think I did not know that's how they did that. Anyway, let's walk on the inside and see what this place is all about. It's round, so it's going to be interesting. When you walk inside, this place feels huge. Beautiful color palettes and the roundness of it all is really unique. I'm pretty impressed with how they fit everything in here. And the ceilings are super tall. Look at that. It goes up forever, and that's your loft. This place, this place is pretty cool. Definitely the coolest grain silo conversion I have seen. There's concrete floors, and the floors are actually heated for those winter months, which is great. But the first thing you walk into is your living room space. Down here on this bottom floor is your kitchen and living room. The living room has this beautiful leather couch. There's a couple seating options and a TV mounted up on this mantle over here with a gas fireplace for the winter. And this is a really spacious living room. And then continuing along, you have a Murphy bed down here. This isn't the main bedroom. This is for extra guests. You can just slide this out and pull it down. Really convenient. And, you know, it fits well with the rounded walls. I think it would be really difficult to design a place that is a circle but so far it's doing really good and behind this living room is the bathroom for this bottom level you slide open this barn door and you get your toilet on the left and then you're just vanity on the right and then lastly over here is the kitchen space this kitchen is really beautiful and unique there's the large island right here in the middle and you have these gold seats on this back side barstool seating and the cabinets are blue so the blue and gold and the white countertops all looks really good and then on on this back side, the kitchen is kind of rounded with the wall. And you got all the cabinet space you'd need, your refrigerator, your coffee maker and supplies, you got a dishwasher and stove. You got it all here in this kitchen with this beautiful sink right here in the middle as well. And this is all behind the living room space. Another design aspect to point out is the ceiling in here for underneath the loft is this tin ceiling. It looks really good with the way they designed everything else in the silo. I would give it a rustic uh, feeling for sure. Now the last thing on this bottom floor is my favorite part, the stairs. I absolutely love these. They are rounded with the silo. And just look at the way they did each step. It's 
planks of wood smashed together and it looks beautiful. I believe it's like a 2 by 8 by 12 and they just cut it up and smashed uh, it all into one step. It looks great. And even the railing is unique. I have not seen this before, but it is this metal bar and it goes all the way up. So definitely fitting in with the rustic feeling. But you can walk up these curved steps, overlook your living room space. And then up here is your bedroom loft. You can look up, you can even see the point of the silo. And there's a huge fan in here, which is nice. But the textures and colors all fit in well. And then you have your king bed right up here beautifully laid out plenty of space up here on this left side you have a closet with a washer and dryer and on this other side is your main bathroom in here there is your tiled shower beautiful tiling your vanity and then your toilet up here but this is all really private you can overlook this railing into the bottom level and this place is just huge i can't believe that this place is only 850 square feet it feels like an entire house to me <laughs> If you want to keep enjoying the outside space, there is a back door off of this kitchen and you can walk out here and there's a huge fire pit area for you to enjoy. You can walk out here, there's string lights all around in the square. You got the fire pit right here in the middle, some chairs, beautiful landscaping rocks. I mean, these are huge, basically boulders. And sit out here, enjoy the sunrise or sunset, looking at the horses, looking at the fields. I mean, can't get any better than that. It's beautiful out here. I've never seen anything like this on the internet, in the world, anywhere. This is a 500 square foot tiny house silo with built on attachments to it for a really, really unique look and layout. So let's go take a tour of this place. Hills Cottage Company. We've been here before. We visited their first shipping container home, which was their first build. You guys loved it a lot. I loved it a lot. It was beautiful. They did such a great job with it. And they built and designed it all themselves. But today we are going to be touring their newest build, which is their tiny house silo. This thing is something we've never seen before. Totally unique build. I've never seen anything like this on the internet, on Airbnb, anywhere. The silo is about 500 uh, square feet of living space. Of course, you can see the silo right here in the middle. I love the cedar wood accents all along the edges and the roof line. And then the board and batten on the both attachments on each side. It's just awesome. The paint color of this is iron ore and I can't go wrong with black. It's my favorite color for a uh, tiny house. This front side has a couple seating options out here to enjoy some morning coffee while rocking in the chair. And for the exterior in the front, that is about it, except for my favorite part, which is the ladder detail up on the roof. That is so cool. And it just fits in with the whole aesthetic of the silo tiny house. I love that. Anyway, let's walk inside and see how they designed this unique space. walk inside here of course in the silo part so it's all round and that has challenges all with it building with round edges and such so I think they did a great job saving space in here and just laying it all out this is also really tall if we take a look up the ceilings go way up high makes the space feel a lot larger than what it actually is and I love the wood design detail they did up here in the middle along with the chandelier it just looks incredible this first section over here on this left side is your living room space they got the leather couch right here your coffee table and this all faces your mantle with the black ship lap you got the TV above your wood mantle and then the fireplace below it just really nice spot to watch movies or shows and it's just cozy right here and then behind this uh, you got your kitchen space the kitchen is divided into two sections this first one closest to the living room space is the smaller of the two but it has your refrigerator right here a 
couple cabinets, your coffee supplies, and this microwave air fryer oven combo. This thing does it all for your cooking needs and it's really tiny so it fits in the space perfectly. But also in the drawers you have everything you'd possibly need for your coffee. That's what I really like about the Hawking Hills Cottage Company. They don't skimp out on any of the coffee necessities for the perfect cup of joe. So that is really nice. And then the other part of your kitchen is on the other side over here. And this has your sink, the gold faucet, and then this really beautiful quartz countertop and tied in with the black cabinets over here as well. It just all looks great. And you got a bunch of floating shelves up here along with the black tile behind all of this. The kitchen split in two is definitely unique, but when you got a really unique tiny house, they both fit together. And that is the silo portion of this area. Now there's two wings attached to it. The first one off the living room is your bedroom space. You walk in here and your bed is plopped right here in the middle. And you got nightstands on both sides. The black backing behind the bed looks great along this wall. And this looks tiny in the camera, but if you look at me walking around, there's actually a lot of room on both sides of the bed. And if we look on the other wall, you got a TV over here and some hangers to hang up your clothes. But the unique thing about this is they kept the exposed silo on this wall, so you can see the metal ribbed uh, silo on this wall. And it looks really cool. It's a nice detail to add. And now we can head over to the other wing, and this is your full-size bathroom. This bathroom is huge for a tiny house. You walk in, your vanity right here on the right side. You got everything you need up above it. Beautiful mirror right here in the middle. You got your toilet caddy cornered in this corner with the ship flap wall over here. And then your shower right behind all of this. And it's a walk-in shower. And all of this is just a clean, bright look. There's windows in here really high above so nobody can see in. And then my favorite part in here is the wallpaper, this dandelion wallpaper. If you were to tell me that we're getting a dandelion wallpaper, I'd probably be like, mm, I probably won't like that. But after seeing this one, it looks really good in here actually. So it ties in this bathroom, gives it some detail and character. And overall, this bathroom is beautiful. So that is all of the inside, but we're not done yet. If we walk out this back door, we got the entertainment space outside left. Out here is your entertainment space. Very private and peaceful out here as well. This entire back patio area is covered and there's a lot to do out here. This first section over here on the left side, you got a couple swinging chairs, your firewood, and then your hot tub. This is a huge hot tub, seven person hot tub, I think, for uh, this tiny house. And on the other side, you got some outdoor seating and of course your grill on the side. And then right here in the middle, we can walk out and there's a fire pit out here for you with a couple chairs. You can sit here and look right at your beautiful tiny house Airbnb or just swing it around and look at the beautiful nature behind you. It's all trees and meadow and even a couple hills back there. And this is just a beautiful area to hang out at. Even though there are two other tiny houses on this property, there's fencing, you can't even see them, don't even notice them. 